Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to get up and running with Google Meet. So you can see I'm currently at meet.google.com and this is where we can access Google's new video chat tool. Now I say new because it's new in the sense that it's free to everyone now new, but it isn't a new tool. It's a tool that evolved out of Google Hangouts, was used for private business meetings, and they've now made it free and available to everyone. So let's jump right in and start taking a look. Again, we're at meet.google.com. You don't have to have a Google account to join a meeting, but it helps to have one if you're going to be creating your own meetings. And uh, it also helps if you're joining a meeting because then people will be able to see the thumbnail icon of your Google account, know who you are, that sort of thing. But to start with Google Meet, you can either start a meeting here on meet.google.com, or if you've been sent an invite to a meeting, you could just enter the code to join that meeting. Uh, but we're going to talk about actually starting a meeting. That way I can show you some more of the features that are available here in Google Meet. So let's click on start a meeting. Now you may have to give Google Meet access to your microphone and your camera and all that sort of thing. And it's going to depend on the computer you're using, whether it's Mac or Windows, whether you want to allow Google Meet to show notifications, that's up to you. Uh, but like I said, you're going to need it to allow it to use your microphone and your camera. And we'll dismiss this. And we'll say, okay, So now the camera's starting up and here we are. Uh, and I haven't actually started the meeting. So right now I'm just looking at a preview of what my video is going to look like. And then to go ahead and start this meeting, I can click the join now button. Now you can share your screen in Google Meet just like you can in some of these other video chat programs. And if you wanted to start your meeting by sharing your screen, you could just click on the present button. But let's go ahead and just click on join now. And that way we'll be able to see all of the different features. So uh, here we are, we're in our meeting. And you can see it looks pretty similar to probably a lot of the other chat, video chat services that you're used to. Down here at the bottom of the screen, I could turn off my microphone if I wanted to. I could leave the call, leave the meeting with the red phone button, or I could turn off my camera with the camera button. And obviously, you know, you could turn your camera back on with that button as well. Over here on the left, we can see some meeting details. So you can actually set up a Google Meet meeting in Google Calendar, uh, which then allows you to send invites from Google Calendar. And if you added any information, including attachments, as you can see on the screen right here, we've got this attachments tag. Those would be attachments that were added from Google Calendar. So if you wanna be able to add attachments to your meeting, just make sure you set it up via Google Calendar, which I can show you how to do at the end of this video. Um, you'll notice that uh, we have some more options over here. Again, if we wanted to present our screen, we could click on this present now button. You'll notice that we have the options to present our entire screen, uh, one window, so it could be one application, whether it's Chrome or a different web browser, or just a tab from within Chrome. So that's obviously up to you. If you click on the three dots at the bottom right here, you can change your layout. Uh, so if you click on that, the main speaker is going to be here uh, in this section, you'll be able to see other people on the side. For Spotlight, you're only seeing the main speaker. And then you could also go to the tile view, which will put everybody in tiles on your screen. Obviously, I'm the only person in this chat right now, so uh, that's not really a big deal. Uh, now, if we click on the three dots again, you'll notice that you also have some other options here. You could access your settings, which are very basic, but there are a few important settings in here. Uh, so we can choose which microphone and which speakers we'd like to use. We can go over here to the video tab. We can choose which camera we'd like to use. And then we can choose which resolution we'd like to send for our video. So um, right now it's set to 360p as the maximum resolution. So if I change this to 720p, uh, both for me sending my resolution and receiving resolution of other members in the video chat, uh, we'll get a little bit of a higher quality call in terms of the visuals. Uh, there could be lag if somebody doesn't have a very good internet connection. So keep that in mind. Uh, and then there isn't really anything here in the general section yet. So we'll just go ahead and click on done for now in our settings. And I want to show you just a couple more areas. There isn't too much more to meet. It's pretty uh, simple, straightforward to the point. Uh, but we do have a couple more areas up here at the top right. You'll notice that there is this silhouette icon. If we click on that, we'll see a list of everybody that's in the room. We'd be able to see their video if they were in here as well. And then if we click on this add people button, we can enter a name or email address for somebody else that we'd like to invite to this meeting. And then over here on the right, you can also do some text chat. So, you know, if we had somebody who didn't have a microphone, 
they could participate uh, by typing over here on the right. We'd be able to see it, uh, respond with text if we wanted to, or obviously we'd be able to respond audibly as well. So again, this is Google Meet. This is Google's now free video chat service evolved out of Hangouts. Um, it's very straightforward, very simple. It might not have all the bells and whistles that a Zoom has right now, but I definitely think it's an improvement on Hangouts. And uh, remember that if you want to create a meeting that has an attachment or some additional details, just remember to create that meeting through Google Calendar. So I'm just going to go to a new tab here and I'm going to go to calendar.google.com. In Google Calendar, I'm just going to double click to create a new event. I'm just creating it on a random day here and we'll just call this a meeting. And you'll notice that down here we have this option that says add Google Meet video conferencing. So we can go ahead and select that option. Now we could add up to 100 participants as guests over here on the right. They're going to get a notification about this event. And then down here at the bottom, I could add a description and I could add an attachment or multiple attachments if I'd like. And then when we go to open up this meeting, when they go to join this meeting, they could go over here to the meeting details section. And if there were any attachments, they'd be able to access them from this tab right here. So that's pretty much it in regards to all of the primary features of Google Meet. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you wanna see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.